Hey everyone, how you doing? It's Sammy Caps. We have an announcement regarding BlizzCon, and we also have an update on the next live stream for Diablo 4. So let's get right to it. As you can see here, BlizzCon has been canceled. Yep. After careful consideration over the last year, we at Blizzard have made the decision not to hold BlizzCon in 2024. This decision was not made lightly as BlizzCon remains a very special event for all of us. And we know many of you look forward to it while we're approaching this year differently. And as we have explored different event formats in the past, rest assured that we're just excited as over as ever to bring BlizzCon back in future years. Now, just a little side note here. 2023 was the first BlizzCon after four years of absence. And of course, everyone knows why that was because of the global pandemic and other reasons, but the pandemic was, was the major contributor. So BlizzCon didn't happen for four years until 2023. And rumor has it when you look into a 2023 BlizzCon was actually a rush job. They literally announced it, put it together in six months speculation after the fact is that a lot of the people that were involved were let go and it was not well received obviously also ticket sales they were anticipating huge ticket sales on the initial announcement of 2023 blisscon and that didn't even materialize so it's not sitting on a good foundation so it's not a surprise having experienced what they experienced in 2023 that they've canceled 2024. Over the next few months, we'll be sharing more details about our launches coming later this year, including World of Warcraft, The War Within, Diablo 4's first expansion, Vessel of Hatred. To celebrate these upcoming releases and to bring our communities together in new and special ways, we will soon share some exciting plans for other industry trade shows and conventions like Gamescom. We can't wait to tell you more about these plans soon. We're also looking forward to the Overwatch Champion Series stops at both DreamHack Dallas and DreamHack Stockholm. And we're thrilled, thrilled to be planning multiple global in-person events to commemorate the 30th anniversary of Warcraft, which will be held in addition to the in-game celebrations across our Warcraft games throughout 2024 while these events are distinct from blisscon we're harnessing all of our creativity and imagination to ensure that they carry the same spirit of celebration and togetherness our hope is that these experiences alongside several live stream industry events where we'll keep you up to date with what's happening in our game universe will capture the essence of what makes the blizzard community so special no matter how you choose to connect with us these events this year whether it will be in person or virtually, we can't wait to see you there. Now, I'm just going to make a couple of more comments regarding the cancellation of uh, BlizzCon 2024. Um, very, well, surprised and not surprised. You would think, th this lends me to make the following assessments. So 30 year anniversary of Warcraft, you have the first major expansion of their Diablo franchise, Diablo 4, Vessel of Hatred. Why not have a BlizzCon? To me, again, purely my opinion is the fact that they don't have anything to talk about, which is really concerning with the fact with everything that's going on with all of their games. This is a AAA studio with a huge huge game portfolio yet they don't have in my opinion enough substance and topics to talk about and highlight and to showcase at blizzcon so they they cancel blizzcon that's the only assessment i can come up with if you have things to talk about you're gonna have a BlizzCon because this is a showcase. This is a, an event for you to spur up interest, create hype, and they're not doing it. So to me, that correlates with the fact that 
there's really no substance in what they're talking about, like what they're going to have the opportunity to talk about. Like this is their game portfolio. And you look across this board, there is not really much excitement. Now, Diablo 4 Season 4 is coming up, and we're going to get into that. We now have a date for the next live stream. I'll get to that in a second. But you would think a 30-year anniversary with probably the staple franchise of this company, Warcraft. Wow. The, the um, unbelievable player base that it has. And then also Diablo. Uh, it's long history. You would think. And, and, and you know, it just, you go down this list of games here and one by one they've all been I hate to use the word, but butchered to a certain degree. Um, but it's it, it's it's unbelievable that such a major event that a lot of people look forward to, they have just said, you know what? We've canceled it. So BlizzCon 2024 is canceled. So what does that lead? Now, sorry. The other thing I wanted to mention is the fact that they are looks like gravitating towards utilizing other events to do what they would typically do at BlizzCon. And it kind of makes sense with my theory. See, when you don't have a lot to talk about, you're not going to go up on center stage by yourself and talk to the audience because all eyes are on you and you need to deliver content. You need to deliver like you need to show what your games, what's coming down the pipe, what. So all the focus is on you. Whereas if you go to another, another gaming event, another like a Gamescom, for example, where there's so much hype going about a lot of other things, it's very easy for you to put up a booth or speak or be one of the speakers of a a ton of speakers so you're just grabbing the limelight for a little bit and then the limelight is also off of you when you're not up on stage so it allows you it allows the opportunity for someone with not a lot of content not a lot of announcements to get in say their piece and get out and it's there's no discussion around oh my god that's it because it's focuses only on you like at blizzcon so it makes sense they're going to go to other gaming events, showcases, say what they want to say and get out of the limelight and the limelight's not on them anymore. But that comes with pros and cons. The pro is what I just said. You can get your message across and you, you choose what you want to highlight and then you're kind of out of the limelight because there's other stuff going on. Whereas the con is people can forget you because you are part of a huge lineup. So however you see it, bottom line is, I'm sure there's gonna be a lot of people that are upset the fact that BlizzCon is, um, has been canceled. A lot of people look forward to it. It's a way for them to get together with other players that they play with whatever Blizzard game you play. It's, a, it's an avenue for you to hook up with your online buddies. That's not going to happen. And then, of course, BlizzCon has always been in the past where we look forward to major announcements, updates to the games, new releases. It, it really is a showcase, and it hasn't been that for a very, very long time, and that's disappointing in itself as well. But anyway, BlizzCon 2024 canceled. I'll be honest with you. I don't think we're going to see any more BlizzCons. My personal opinion, only time will tell. Okay, now, regarding its one franchise that has a new season coming up, and that is Diablo 4. So we we know season 4 has is coming, sorry, on May 14th. And as I stated in my last video, we heard through X that there was going to be an announcement this week about when the 
live stream for season four update is going to be and the PTR. Well, here we go. As promised, we did get it today and tune in to our next developer update and it's May 2nd. So 12 days before the season four launch. And this is what they said. Our next developer update begins on May 2nd at 11 a.m. Pacific Daylight Time. And we'll give you a look into what the team has in store for launch of Season 4, along with system features, balance updates, and learnings from our recent PTR period. Join Associate Director of Community, Adam Fletcher, Associate Game Director, Joseph Piopiora, Lead Class Designer, Adam Jackson, Lead Live Game Designer, Colin Finner, and Lead Seasons Designer, Derek Nunes, as they delve into PTR learnings, including tweaks to itemization and system updates. We'll also be taking community questions for us to answer during Q&A at the end of the stream, which they do every live stream or campfire chat. And obviously they tell you to go visit their official stuff. Now, um, this is going to be very interesting. So it looks like already from the verbiage here that they have done some tweaks, as it says right here, including tweaks to itemization and system updates. So it's going to be very interesting to see whether or not they have taken the feedback serious. And I mentioned on my last video all the things that kind of came to the forefront regarding the PTR from April 2nd to April 9th. So I'm going to be very interested to see how much, if any, changes are done because of the feedback. It's going to be very interesting. We will know after this May 2nd, live stream how much they listened and how much they didn't i'm going to be very interested to see that and of course i'm looking forward to the tweaks that they are going to be making for season four i gotta say i've said this in my last video and i'll say it again on this video this season season four that's coming up on may 14th is probably the most positive that the player base has gone into a season since the launch of Diablo 4. So we're going to see whether or not the dev team from Diablo 4 can maintain this positivity going into season four. Remember, they have basically derailed all the optimism. They popped the optimism balloon literally every season before season four. And the biggest example of that is season one, when they nerfed the hell out of all the classes right before the launch of season one. So it'll be very interesting to see if they learned their lesson and if they can continue this positivity hype train going into season four. We'll find out on May 2nd. So anyway, that's the news coming from Blizzard. BlizzCon 2024 is canceled. And the developer update live stream, we now have a date. It's May 2nd, 12 days before the launch of season four. Anyway, I hope that you found this video informative. And if you could like, comment, and subscribe, I would really appreciate it. It'll help grow my channel. And as always, we'll hope to see you next time. Take care. The opinions expressed in this video are mine and solely mine. Healthy debate is always encouraged. Hate is never welcomed. So get over it.